Welcome back. We are here with part 11 of our fifth generation of our royal family, and the war is about to start. So we are going to prepare for that because uh, one member of each family will be going to war, and I'll explain the details a little more in a second. But one of the problems is that Marcelo here is the oldest, but he's in generation six. So it's not like anybody can go to war for him. He just has to go for his siblings, and he's the current He's the current duke, so he um, is two days away from becoming an adult. It's been a, it's been a few days, so um, I know that we just had Celeste, not Celeste, uh, Kiara's birthday in the last one, but here she is. Um, she's still relatively young, but, um, you know, it's war, and her boyfriend here, Marcelo, is going to be leaving for war, and she, you know, doesn't want him to leave without them being married. So that's what we're doing right now. We are going to get them married. And we are going to make sure that they can uh, leave a legacy just in case he dies. Now, we don't know yet if he's going to die. Again, I'm going to explain the details of how we decide who lives and who dies in just a second. But for right now, we're just working on their relationship. We're going to get them married. We're going to get them pregnant. And then we are going to actually go into a live segment of me uh, doing the war stuff. So that's really exciting. And I had a lot of fun filming it. So I hope that you guys are excited about that as well. And what I'll explain, I don't want to repeat myself because I know what I'm going to say in about a minute, but um, anyway, we are working on this. They're getting romantic. They're about to have their first kiss. I forgot to turn the headline off and then uh, we'll have him ask to be girlfriend, boyfriend. And then uh, we are going to try for a baby next because I find that if you ask to be girlfriend and then immediately propose, sometimes they say no just because it's too soon. So uh, we're going to avoid that problem by um, having get, trying for a baby in between. <laughs> so there we go, getting their room. They're, they're perfect. They're doing great. So let's head upstairs. You can do it. Try for a baby. And then we will propose. I don't know why they have to go to high school, but the other two don't. I don't know what's up with that, but we're just going to accept it and fix another computer. There are two broken computers in this house. Love it. So here we go. They are going to do this. And then we are going to wait for that to be over. <laughs> um, yeah, these two are really excited about each other. They're both kind of young. But they are, you know, they're thinking that the end could be here soon. So they want to get it while it's hot. And we are going to have him propose next. And then we will get married, which takes forever. It's super annoying. It's fine. Um, but yeah, so these two are going to be the first of some couples probably marrying young because of the war. But we'll see what happens depending on who lives and who dies. We still have a few Gen 5 people left that we can sacrifice. So that's what's going on there. Just checking on the other siblings. That's Axel and Rhonda. Okay. And then we will have uh, her do a pregnancy test. And then we will go into the live segment. She is indeed pregnant. I'm just trying to wrap up this before the next part starts. I uh, Tell me what you think about this, having a, a whole section that is just, you know, live playing versus the sped up stuff. So I hope that you guys enjoy what is about to come. She is pregnant. We are leaving for war in three, two, one, zero. Okay, so we are actually going to do this part live. So here we are in our main menu, and we are about to send everyone off to war. So let me get my list up. We are going to be sending one member of each household, and then if they die, they have to be replaced by another member of that household. So that's what's going to happen. And I'm going to put them in a new, um, a new household, and then we will just put them somewhere and kill them off as needed. So. First, from the Phoenix family, of course, our King Gabriel will be leaving. He will be representing his family. He doesn't want any of his daughters to go. So that is what we'll do there if this ever loads. Okay, so let's create a new household. We'll take Gabriel and we'll put him in. And you know what? Wars are expensive. 
and also I'm sick and tired of having too much money. So let's take five million. Okay. So now we have Gabriel, which unfortunately leaves Noel at home with Lucille, but that is something that she is going to have to deal with. From the Kitsune family, we are going to take Deacon, who is um, the current Duke um, by marriage. And he is an elder. So um, the way that I'm deciding who lives and who dies is we're rolling a dice, um, you know, electronically. And um, regular Sims have two thirds a chance of living, but elder Sims only have one half chance. So that is the problem there for him. And, um, you know, he's doing this so that his wife and son do not need to. Am I just going to take half the money from everyone? Maybe I will. Maybe I'll do that. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs are about to lose a lot of money. Okay. That is from the Kitsune family. Next, we are going to go to the Siren household. And, of course, once again, it's going to be German, who is the current Duke by marriage. Uh, he wanted to make sure that his family was taken care of and he's a total you know he's a total simp for his wife so he's not going to let her go so that is what's happening here if it ever loads okay here we go german off you go and then they have seven what's half of seven 450 no, I guess not. No, 450 is half of nine. <laughs> oh, God. Hold on, hold on. Half of seven is, is three and a half. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. I obviously know how to do math. That's great. Okay. So now from the Griffin household, the only person in Gen 5 left. So what I'm trying to do is I'm mostly making Gen 5 leave first because, you know, they've had their time. Their kids are still young. They don't want to send their kids. So um, that is kind of the first order. Um, they'll be going, and then if they die, their children will then go after them. And we might have some problems with pairing people up because lots of Sims are potentially about to die. But, you know... That's how it goes sometimes. We have to adjust because of that. So uh, Lori, who is the mother of these three children, will be going and will be taking 250 from her. Okay. And that's why we had Marcelo here. Marcello, Marcelo, I don't know. Um, that's why we had him marry Chiara and then... Uh, get her pregnant before he left because he is the current duke but he's also part of gen 6 not gen 5 like both of their parents are deceased so if he goes away and dies then there's no one i mean i guess his siblings would inherit from him but it's it's just different you know it's different so we do want them to try to have lives before uh, we send them away so let's go like that and that is everyone that is coming from our kingdom. Now, if we go over to Newcrest, we have, um, I just put everyone from Newcrest in this one household for now. Uh, but actually, uh, because I was paring down Newcrest earlier, so that's why everybody is gone. Um, I did start getting rid of them. So, you know, hopefully this gives us a leg up. Who knows what this, the random number generator is going to do to us. But uh, we currently have three people in the Newcrest Kingdom. Pretend that there's like more people. But um, we have Devin who started this whole thing. So this is his fault. And then we have his father, who is the current king, Maximiliano, who of course will be supporting his son, even though he thinks the whole thing is stupid. They are a patriarchy though. So luckily Nora is not going to have to get involved because, um, you know, she's young. And also, she's currently dating um, Jared, 
who is from the other kingdom. So Romeo and Juliet much. Um, that is definitely something that is worrisome for them. And let's just let's just pick up a lot and move them in. There we go. Move in. Here is everybody. Yeah, I can't. There's a mailbox on the lot. <laughs> um, anyway, here is everybody, and we are going to now go here. Let's go and find out who will live and who will die in this round. So, like I said, we're going to roll the dice. We are going to see who lives and who dies, and then I will be killing them, and then we will head back to the people that are, you know, we'll head back to the the regular household and go be with them for the rest of the video. But for this part, we're just going to, um, you know, do this. So let me pause while we wait for this to load and I will catch it in two seconds. Okay. That was a really long time. This save file is having trouble. Okay. Now let's go through our list. We are going to start with King Gabriel. So I'm going to take control of yeah, I guess Devin and um, you know everyone come over here, please on the lot, please and thank you. Don't leave for for high school, Marcelo. Um, why are you scared? Okay, here everybody is. Okay, and we are going to start with Gabriel. Now he just has to not roll a three, so because he's still. A, a regular adult, which means he has two thirds a chance of surviving, and he did not roll a three, so Gabriel gets to live another day. Next is Deacon, who, because he's an elder, he can't roll a two out of two, so he has a 50% chance of dying. And Deacon Kitsune, your son, has just become no, he hasn't become the Duke because you still have a wife. Anyway. <laughs> Sorry, Deacon. Goodbye. War is rough. Okay. After Deacon, we have Lori, who is here in the helmet for, in the night outfit for some reason. <laughs> um, okay, Lori just has to not roll a three. And she is good. She survives another day. Okay, German is next. <laughs> He's like, hey, Grim, this is going to become commonplace for us. Okay, so next is German. German, come back over here. So German is next, and he just needs to not roll a three, and it's a three. I'm sorry, German. You, uh, your wife is gonna have to come here next time. So life's tragedies, murders. Let's try something different this time. I'm gonna have to move all these graves to the graveyard, aren't I? Okay, there we go. Sorry, German. Yeah, Grim, don't go anywhere. We still need you. <laughs> okay, German is now dead. Next after German is... is... Do, 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 Marcelo. Marcelo is the last member of our kingdom that we are going to roll on. And he's only a teenager. He only just got married. His wife is pregnant. Don't go. <laughs> um, yep. Oh, looks like Marcelo will live another day. Next, we have Maximiliano, who's the current king of Newcrest. Come, come here. Why? Come, everybody come here. Um, they're all running away from the murders. They're all over there. <laughs> Look at Gabriel in his crop top. He's like, this is not what I wanted. <laughs> okay, so uh, next we are rolling on Maximiliano. Just needs to not get a three. Grim, if you could please take care of German. Thank you. No? You're just going to stand there? Okay. Um, we might need to reset them and then get their grades out of the inventory. Oh, no. Thank you, Grim. Thank you. Okay. Maximiliano is surviving. So, good job. The King of Newcrest is going to live through this war that he never wanted, but, you know. Uh, next, we have Devin, the instigator. The evil, mean, jealous, greedy, insensitive lover and total fool, in my opinion. 
Devin just has to not roll a three and <laughs> he rolled a three. Gabriel, come here and do the honors. <laughs> you come here, go here. And then, oh, what should we do to him? This, I'm gonna enjoy this. Um, <laughs> let's see. Let's smash his head. Okie doke. That is all of our Lori to the Grim Reaper. <laughs> my, my Lori. Well, you enjoy that. Uh, oh, look, Gabriel's feeling good about this. Um, Grim, I need you to come over here, though. I know that Lori is really quite attractive, but um, yeah, I'm going to need you to come do this. Okay, so that is everybody. Do, 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 do. Okay. Thank you, Grim. Oh, now you're scared? Okay. So, here we go. Actually, I feel like this part might get kind of long because it's, because I'm doing it live and not, um, not, wait, why? I don't need Devin's grave. Anyway, um, but I do need these two. So let's go to the graveyard and put them down. Yeah, I'm wondering if this part, because this part's already 20 minutes. So maybe I'll have a part of killing off Sims, and then the next part will be what happens with the people back at home while that's happening. Yeah, maybe we'll do that. Because I don't want this to, to be really, really, really long. So... That's what I'm going to do, I think. We're going to have this part just be killing sims. And the next part is going to be um, what is happening back in the kingdom with everybody. Yeah, I think that that's a good plan. Although I did do a little something at the beginning of this, but that's okay. Everything's fine. I think that this is going to be a good way to do it. And I do like this little bit of live action kind of stuff. I hope that you guys do too. I haven't done a, a live video in a while. I mean, I do them for my family tree updates, but not for actual gameplay. So let me let me pause this. It's going to take a few minutes to load because my save file hates me. And then we'll put their graves down. And then I do want to do one more thing before we wrap up this part. This is actually good for me because it's much less filming time. <laughs> Um, to get videos out. But anyway, I am enjoying this part. I'm really excited about this war. And um, yeah, so in the next one, we are going to have to have those people that did pass away get replaced. So like Deacon died. So someone else from the Kitsune family has to come and replace him. German died. So someone else from the Siren family has to replace him. Uh, no one's going to replace Devin. Um, yeah, so Deacon will probably be replaced by his wife as well, German. But we are quickly running out of Gen 5 people to replace, so we will have to start using Gen 6 people, which means um, the youngins will start to pass away, and, you know, we'll see what happens. Although, you know, it could just be the fact that Maximiliano rolls to die in the next one, and then the war's over. <laughs> so that's a possibility, too. But if we keep going for a while, we are going to come into the fact that we're going to start losing Sims that we might not want to lose because we want them to get married and have babies and do the thing and keep everything going. So we will probably be feeling the effects of this for the next generation because we'll have less Sims. But yeah, I couldn't keep my mouth shut for five minutes while this loaded my save file. How do you keep your big save files from taking forever? I don't know. I'm going to pause it again and wait again. <laughs> Catch in a sec. Okay, here we go. So we are getting into the graveyard. The graveyard. Okay, let's drop off these urns. Who died again? Deacon, Kitsune. Where's the Kitsune family? I forget what color they are. I think they're blue. Are they? Yep. Oh my gosh, was I wrong? Deacon was the heir. Oh man. Oh man, oh man. 
Okay, so so I guess I guess Valentin Valentine whatever his name is is now officially the duke. I don't know why I thought it was Harper for some reason. Anyway, come on. Come on. Come out. <laughs> come on. Come on. Please cooperate. This game hates me. It's really just how it is. When this is on four times speed, you don't see the struggle. No, I'm trying to put this down. <laughs> okay. Is this how it's going to be? Go away. Let me switch people and come back. No, come on. Oh my god. Okay. Come on. Am I going to have to like skip this part? <laughs> come on. Aha, okay. Except it says that I'm Maximilian, I don't know. But it's fine. I just want to place these down, please. <laughs> Okie doke. Who died? Ke Deacon and German died. German is... Um, I think to the right of us. Okay. Please... Pretty, please. Okay. Oh, here we go. One, two, three. This is why I don't play live. But which one of these is? Which one of these is? Here we go. Okay. Devin's grave can just stay in here. If you'll take it back. Thank you. Okay, we have German. Okay, and here's Deacon. Okay. Duke, Deacon, Kitsune, Gen 5. This is Duke, German, Siren, Gen 5. Sometimes I can't remember if I put their um, maiden names in here or not. I think I put their maiden names on their pictures, so it should be fine. But anyway, you go over here so I can turn around. Turn around. I don't think you guys realize how much I struggle on a daily basis to play this game. Okay, there we go. And I'll need to... Maybe I won't do this part every single time. Maybe I'll just fast forward through this. But we need the shelf. There we go. Put one right here. It goes up, back. Yeah, I can see that the power is out. Thank you. And you know what? I think that these people need... Well, first let's move this here out of here please oh well I need come on bb dot move objects on you stay right here why are you doing this to me there we go right right there okay and then I'll just change the color so you can't see it I'm thinking we need some kind of like metal No. Um, we need, like, something to indicate that they died at war. Yeah, I think in the future parts we're just going to, you know, speed through this. But you can watch the struggle for this one time. Let's see. What do we have that could indicate... War. What about one of those sword things? I could. Tr I don't think I can put the medals from the military career there, but I'm sure they would get rewarded somehow. Come 
come on. I thought that there were like metals or something around here. Swords? Swords. Hmm. Maybe something like this? What about this one? How does this look? This might look cooler if we went like that. Let me come over here for a second. Yeah, you know what? I think I kind of like that. But I want to move this over a little bit so that it's centered. But then I need to move this. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I think that that looks good. Um, let's use that over in the other place too, over here. Except there's less room for it, but that's okay. What colors does this come in? Oh, it comes in blue. Perfect. We're in blue here. Okay. I think that that looks good too. Yeah, I think that that, that looks good. That is all done there then. All right. I hope that you guys enjoyed this part. We are um, going to continue the war as time goes on, but for the, the next one, we're going to show what's going on back at home and then we'll flip flop to this again where we decide which sims live and which sims die. So in the next one, what will we be doing? We will be having um, the sims that are not here that need to come now, like Harper and Lori, we'll have them prepare to leave. And I think there's some holidays. Yeah, so the Royal Summit and the Royal Ball are coming up this weekend. So we might have those, even though it's kind of awkward to have a ball. And we'll probably have some more romance with the youngins. So I hope that you guys are excited about that. And I will catch you next time. Enjoy your night at the graveyard, Gabriel. <laughs>